New at 6 tonight, it's called the Oklahoma Religious Freedom Act. Governor Kevin Stitt signing into the law this week. 5 News reporter Micah Wilson went to Oklahoma to find out more about what this is, why some say it's needed, while others say it should have never become law. With many places of worship trying out creative ways to spread their message from Zoom services to the parking lot, this law essentially restricts the government from closing down places of worship during an emergency, including the pandemic. Our rights, our liberties come from God, not from government. Pastor Mickey Ellis at Valley Baptist Church in Poto says the government is here to protect our rights and is pleased about the bill being signed into law. However, Oklahoma Representative John Waldron voted no on the measure. He says places of worship shouldn't be exempt from general restrictions for public safety. If we ask the rest of society to follow those rules, then we can use the principle of general applicability to apply them to churches as well. Pastor Ellis says it's personal choice and gives his members the option and resources to do what they feel is needed to protect themselves. We're trying to be wise about things. We don't want anybody to get sick at our place. We don't want any of our folks to die. We love our people. He says government should never have the power to regulate how services operate. Representative Waldron says he doesn't have a problem with religious participation, but on the lack of civic participation to keep our community safe during this pandemic. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Uh, and if Caesar is asking everybody to wear a mask, then we should wear masks. The author of that bill, Senator Bullard, put out a statement explaining his reasoning for introducing the bill, saying in part, quote, our religious freedoms have come under attack in recent years, and this is one area where that has become very apparent. During the pandemic, churches were deemed non-essential and closures were recommended. In Poto, covering news where you live, Micah Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. That law, by the way, set to go into effect across Oklahoma this November 1st.